It's been a long day coming for them to tear down at the Casa Grande apartments in South Jackson, but the day is finally here and a lot of people say it may just be the next step in redeveloping the city. We made a promise that we would see to it that we would hold those owners accountable and make certain that the residents of South Jackson no longer had to see this blight. After years of complaints passed down through several administrations, the city of Jackson is finally tearing down the blighted apartment buildings that sit on Terry Road and Sykes. According to Jermichael Griffin, the manager of Express Care Automotive across the street, it seriously affected business. And you know, when they come through and see all that going on over there, they be like, well, I don't want to leave my car there. Griffin says there's been shootouts, fires and vagrants in and out of the buildings, all while kids are down the street at Sykes Elementary School. I be seeing kids walking from the school right around the corner and it was just a scary sight and I'm just so thankful. Taxpayers are footing the $200,000 bill for the demolition, according to the Director of Planning and Development. But Mayor Shokwe Antar Lumumba says it's needed for the area. Uh, think about the ongoing expense of cleaning this property. Yeah. Uh, our solid waste division has come out here repeatedly to deal with the illegal dumping that's happened. Jackson officials say there's a lot more buildings that need to be demolished. There's no exact number, but this one demolition is taking up about half the city's budget. But thanks to the newly instated rental registry, there will be fewer issues in the future. Uh, we'll make sure that we don't have nuisance landlords, that we don't have nuisance property owners that will just let their property get out of compliance that will cause us in the future. City officials now hope this encourages the state to appropriate more money and create new laws, including land bank legislation to better develop areas after a building is torn down. It allows us to uh, potentially do affordable housing and subsidize it, right, to allow um, that market to be generated or uh, for us to invest in potentially, you know, bring it in a grocery store. In Jackson, Madeline Nolan, 16 WAPT News.